American Embassy in London to draw attention to a problem they feel the world has largely ignored, though Dr. Rowan Williams spent three of them this week, pledged to starve themselves to death if the coalition forces in Iraq do nothing to protect the three and a half thousand Iranian dissidents housed in Camp Ashraf, some 60 kilometers northeast of Baghdad in Iraq. The camp has been the Iranian distant home for some 20 years now, but events in July suggest that the Iraqi authorities want them to return to Iran. Trevor Barnes reports. The protest here outside the American Embassy in central London is quiet and dignified. In fact, it looks more like a field hospital than a demonstration. Desperately weak protesters lying on a row of camp beds behind me, tended by a nurse. 45-year-old Fatima and 44-year-old Khalil, who have relatives in Camp Ashraf, are among them. They've gone without food for 53 days and are prepared to take their protest to the bitter end. Well, for the last two days, I've got very huge pain in my side. And last Sunday, I was in a hospital and I had bleeding stomach and I was vomiting blood. And it's quite difficult, but my belief is stronger than my pain. I'm so weak. I can go for maybe 20, 30 meters. But after that, I start to become easy, and somebody all the time has to be with me. I don't want to die. I've got two small children. I love them. They are in the school right now. I don't want to die. But what else can I do? 